Hello everyone, my name is Foltonelda and welcome to the Wolf Den, your escape to fantasy. And today we are starting an adventure of which I'm not entirely sure on what to expect. I mean, Slime Ranger. Is there an overarching story to this or is it all about messing around with slimy adorable creatures who apparently explode now and then? Can I get by with my limited brain power when it comes to all the logistics surrounding properly farming stuff? Or will embracing the chaos that's on screen right now bring us to glory? What I'm trying to say is, I have got no idea where this adventure is gonna go, and I'm even unsure if this is going to be the right kind of game for me, as normally I'm a heavy story slash adventure kind of guy, and not someone who sits around and farms slimes. All I know is that it looks bloody adorable and Slime Ranger was suggested by a fair few people, so I'm at least intrigued to try it out. And then we'll see where we end up. If I enjoy it, perfect! And if not, we'll at least try and have as much fun as we can have for however long that may be. So get yourself comfortable I'd say, and let's dive right into the world of Slime Ranger. A thousand light years away from Earth on a planet known as the Far Far Range, Beatrix LeBeau begins her first day as a slime ranger. A choice which she will most likely come to regret very soon as, well, things are about to get messy when slimes are involved. Let's get moving, yeah. Okay, awesome. Uh, hop through its space bar. Hi. Yeah, spacebar and hold shift to sprint. Um, artifact like a rancher. Your fact pack can fact things up and store them in the fact tank. Uh, pink slime diet everything. Well, hello. Uh, can I fact you up? Yes, I can. A new slime PDA entry for the pink slime. The coral U is scientifically proved to be the color of cheer. Well, that's adorable. Uh, you fact the slime. Slimes are a key to your success. Shoot slimes through a corral barrier into the corral on the ranch. Okay, uh, let's to shoot. Awesome. Hi. Can I get you as well? I can get you as well. Uh, hold on, tasty. F I'm sorry, what? Tasty food acquired? A hen hen. Uh, a hearty chicken bread to be twice as tasty as something else. Um, yeah, food like fruit, veggies, or chickens are used to feed slimes. Why are chickens used to feed slimes? It's kind of grim. I mean, I don't want to feed chickens to my slimes. Try shooting food at a pink slime and they'll eat anything. Um, they'll eat anything. Do they also eat carrots? Because I see carrots here. Thank you. Carrot, carrot. Thanks for fact back. It's the rancher's best friend. Um, I do want though. This slime PDF thing. It holds a whole lot more information. Yeah. And thus also holds more information on the pink slime. I have got a feeling that this first episode is going to be a whole lot of reading, so sit back and relax. Um, the diet of the pink slime is fruit, veggies and meat, so they basically eat everything but have no favorites. In slimeology. Pink slimes are the most common slime found on the far, far ranch. The cheerful, docile and the easiest of all slimes to ranch. The pink slime will eat anything you put in front of it, though they have no favorite food. And their plorts are the least valuable of all slimes. What are... Plorts? Uh, a range of risks. Not much to worry about with a pink slime. They're soft, squishy, very happy to be around the ranger, and found all over the, ra the range. Okay, I'm very sorry, but I'm going to confuse these two words quite a lot. Rancher, ranch, range, ranger. Yeah, you know what I mean. But because of this, a rancher won't go far without finding a few pink plorts, which can lead to Largos, and then... Pink plorts, which I don't know what they are, can lead to Largos, which I don't know what Largos is. Sounds like a disease. Uh, and then what? I guess we're gonna find out. Plortonomics. Pink plorts are an excellent multi-purpose generic substance used to manufacture everything from food products to household cleaners. Alright then. All over Earth, people are eating burgers, sweetening their coffee or scrubbing their floors with pink plort products. That's some serious versatility. That's true, also sounds weird, like you're eating it partly, but also using it to clean the floor. Not sure. Um, and we have resources, including the carrot. Favored by, again, no one. And the humble carrot was brought to the far, far ranch. Far, far range, because they're easy to grow and nutritious. 
Most ranchers swear by them as they are a handy portable snack, promote good night vision and when juiced are second only to coffee as the perfect morning beverage. On the ranch, deposit the carrot into a garden's depositor and you'll have a large carrot crop of your very own. How do I get one of those? Questions. And we also had the hen hen. A hearty chicken bred to be twice as tasty as its cousin on earth. Looks bloated. A favorite by none. Type is meat and about. Hen hens are a special breed of chicken bred to survive the climate of the far far ranch. Range. While appearing more or less like a big chicken, these burly birds are much more adept at fending for themselves, making them ideal for ranchers who might otherwise be distracted by a few hundred hungry slimes, or oh, I'm going to be distracted I tell ya. On the ranch, hens, ha hen hens in close proximity to roostros will periodically lay eggs that produce chicken dudes. However, keeping too many hens or roostros in close proximity makes them anxious and egg production will come to a halt. Savvy ranchers will un with an understanding of the complex nature of chicken romance, always keep their coop from exceeding 12 grown chickens. Nice to know. And... God, there's so much information. A corral. A happy slime makes for a happy rancher. A corral is used to keep slimes on a ranch. The open air corrals are designed for maximum slime satisfaction, with the rich soil of the ranch, the range beneath them and its expansive sky above them. Slimes will remain perfectly happy within corrals, so long as they are fed regularly. Remember, you can shoot things through a corral barrier. Handy, which is exactly what's right now being suggested. Food like fruit and veggies or chickens are used to feed slimes. Try shooting food at a pink slime, they'll eat anything. How about you get a carrot? There we go. And I'm assuming that is a plot. I'm sorry? Okay, so I have to grab a plot. You've acquired the slime plot. When slimes eat, they make plots. Head on over to the plot market to cash in your plot. So I, if I want one of those, I'm gonna have to grab it from inside the corral. Nice to know also. Uh, nope, nope, not what I want, not what I want. I'm going to confuse those two buttons quite quickly. Uh, you come along with me. You come along with me. I, hello. Did one of you two eat a wild chicken? I hope you didn't. Just stay in there. Don't mess about the place. Um, here. Have a carrot. There we go. And give me the plorts, please. Nope. I just want the plort. Just want the plort. There we go. And thank you very much. Enjoy your food and be happy. That kind of stuff. Uh, okay, where were we? You know what? I'll follow this real quick, see where this goes, these are the details. Uh, the plot market. The plot market gives you new bucks for your hard earned plots. Shoot a plot into a plot market and earn some cash. And we also got mail from Casey and I saw the thing blinking in the top left corner. There's a lot of information being thrown right at me. Um, okay, so we have the pink plots which are worth 16... Okay. 16 new bucks and ooh, I definitely want you. Okay, so just shoot it in. Awesome. Very nice. So, what else? That about covers the basics. Okay, awesome. You learned the fundamentals. Now it's time to get out there and explore. Remember, the best way to go up, become a pro rancher is to experiment. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Alright then. Well, there's still a whole lot more stuff going on that I don't know about. And hello... Chickadoo! So little and soft you'd think they're filled with marshmallows. And then they get eaten. That's grim. You! I'm gonna save you! No slime will hurt you, that's what. Are there any more things wandering about the place? Yes, there are. You! Join me! I don't want any random slimes wandering about. Here we go. <laughs> awesome. Alright, so where were we? Um... Let's see, resources, chicken do. Type future meat? <laughs> Why future meat? It's not slime food, that's a good thing. Uh, chicken do are baby chickens that will eventually grow into a hen hen or more rarely a rooster. Chicken do's of all varieties will never be eaten by slimes. Some believe this is because slimes are too kind hearted to do such a thing. 
Others believe it's because chicken dudes don't yet have enough meat on their bones. It's probably the latter. On the ranch, keep chicken dudes in a safe place and they'll eventually grow into a hen hen or a rooster. I'll keep that in mind, but yeah, the corral. A corral is used to keep slimes on a ranch. The open air corrals are designed for maximum slime satisfaction with the rich soil of the range beneath them and its expansive sky above them. Slimes will remain perfectly happy within corrals so long as they are fed regularly. You can shoot things through a corral barrier, which is handy. High walls. Higher corral walls ensure that even the bounties of slimes will have difficulty escaping. Music box that plays a soothing tune that greatly reduces slime agitation. Is it stuff that I can buy or stuff that is already present inside of this thing? Now auto feeder. An auto feeder will drop food into the corral at regular intervals. Just remember to keep it stocked. And the air net is a force barrier that covers the top of a corral. It can take a few hits before needing to recharge. Are these things gonna bounce out? I'm gonna leave this bloody range, ranch thing, and I'm gonna find my slimes just wandering about the place again. Um, plot collector will vacuum up two types of plots in a corral at regular intervals, depositing them into a storage tank so long as space is available. And a solar shield, which will encase corral in a dim shade, protecting slimes sensitive to light. That is nice. However, yeah, I have a feeling that that is stuff that I might have to buy. Yeah, that's all rather expensive, isn't it? Definitely. Well, that's cheap, but I definitely don't want to demolish my plot. Thank you very much. All right. Okay, you know what? First things first. Um, how exactly... How do I read my mail? Can I read my mail inside of here? Yes, I can. Oh, I managed DLC. I don't have any DLC because I heard that this was just cosmetic. And eh, not really that interested. Anyway, Star Mail. Hello. Rise and shine from Casey. Hi, Bia. What's it like to sleep for a whole year? Did you dream? I can't imagine what that's like. The 7th Sea puts you in a pod and then lights out for all that time. Wow. What's the Farfar far range like? Have you started exploring? Not yet. I'm just reading up on all the information and being overwhelmed. Is the air as clear as they say? Bed is really beautiful. Truth be told, I haven't really paid attention to the sky, but I'm sure it is. I'm probably asking too many questions. I bet you have a lot of work to do on that ranch. I still can't believe it's yours now. I guess I better leave you to it and just keep it short. Good luck, Bia. If anyone can make it out there, it's you, Casey. Thank you very much for the confidence, Casey. I'm gonna need it. And we also got information from the 7C Corporation. Welcome to the far, far range. The 7C Corporation to Miss LeBeau. The Seven Sea Corporation would like to welcome you to the Far Far Range. Welcome. And extend our support in your bold new venture as a Slime Ranger. Support extended. Well, dear oh dear, aren't you being a little bit formal? We would also like to request that you exercise caution in your first few days on the range. Until you get more familiar with your surroundings, traveling at night is not advisable. Lastly, should you require any additional tools for your backpack or items to make your Slime Ranging experience easier, the 7C Corporation will be pleased to provide them to you from the shop located just outside your ranch house. The 7C Corporation, providing the tools you need to get the job done for us, for a small fee. Awesome. So hold on, I'm doing your job, or I'm doing a job for you, but in order to do that job better, I'm gonna have to pay you for the tools to do your... Something doesn't add up there, I tell you. Anyway, uh, we can sleep until morning or return to the ranch. It's still early in the day, there's a lot to do, and I got chickadoo. Which makes me wonder. Okay, we've got one, two, three further plots over here. We've got two plots right over there. We've got areas to go to, and there's also two? Yeah, two over here. Okay, I kind of wish I kept one of those carrots, because right now I have a feeling that I am gonna have to feed these slimes some chicken. Which is inevitable, it's probably something I'm just gonna have to embrace, so... Let's get to it. And um, if I were... What can we do? We can make a corral, we can make a garden, a coop, a silo, an incinerator, and a pond. Okay. Um... If I'm to make a garden, I'll probably want to have the garden here, I guess. Which means a coop. What do we know about this thing? Um, yeah, what do we know about it? We can't read it from there. Uh, ranch. The coop. 
Keeping chickens in their uh, keeping chickens in their place prevents the uprising. Is there gonna be a chicken uprising? Well, I think these things are a little bit more dangerous than I figured then. Though many ranchers simply let their chickens roam the ranch, a coop is a tool of the serious poultry producer. Coops keep hens and roosters close, bound for maximum egg laying potential. Just remember to avoid crowning the coop. Chickens won't reproduce when in close proximity to more than a dozen other hens or roosters, but give them room and watch the love bloom. And then the upgrades available are high walls, great for keeping chickens in, and hungry slimes out. If I'm gonna be placing a coop, am I gonna find random slimes wandering in from wherever or appearing from out of the sky and then just eating my roosters and whatnot? Well, that's gonna be sucky. Uh, anyway, can I make a coop? Yes, I can. I think I want to invest right now. There we go. Nice little small corral. And then the upgrades are high walls, uh, spring grass. Spring grass attracts scuttlebugs that chickens just love to eat. With their bellies full, hens will produce eggs twice as fast. The Vitamizer, the very latest in advanced poultry tech. The Vitamizer bathes the chickens in Vita rays, allowing them to grow into healthy hens and roosters twice as fast. And of course the mollusk plot. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Well, in this case, I guess... Uh, okay, this just feels F so slightly grim, because... Launching slimes, brilliant! They'll bounce about the place, no problem. Launching chickadoos? So I'm so sorry. They'll survive. That's what. You are alive, right? Yes, you are. Adorable. Alright, so these three will now grow up. You are already food, but I want to keep the hen hen just in case any of these becomes a rooster, because I do want more chickens in the future. Um, Yeah, that means I'm definitely going to need more pink plots and whatnot. Uh, but what about the whole Largos thing? Like, fine. I've got questions, basically. And... Outside the range. Yup. So this would then be where we buy all our backpack upgrades. Water tank for... Specialized water tank that allows you to store fresh water. Do I need that for, for growing carrots or whatnot? Maybe. The jetpack. Keep your head in the clouds with this amazing personal jetpack. A heart module to sync with your body's own vital processes to enhance life systems. Boosting health to 150. Plus it's sparkly, which is definitely a benefit. The power core. Augments your backpack with an almost certainly safe microfusion generator that boosts energy to 150. An almost certainly safe microfusion generator. I'm just gonna get myself killed here. Not by the slimes, but by all the upgrades. And tank booster. Improved nano storage cell technology allows your fact tank to hold 30 units of whatever you can back up. What's the limit right now? 10? 15? I'd want to know, but I don't have the money for it. And multiple areas to go. What is this? Um, that is a force field. What are you? Ranch expansion. The grotto, a dark and gloomy cavern above the sea, and likely first chapter to that novel of yours. Maybe, but also pretty expensive. Um, and what about over here? Because I see another one of you. Again, blocked off. Yep, very much so. So what are you then? The lab. Allows you to begin your career as an amateur, unlicensed slime scientist. For 10,000? Definitely not gonna happen anytime soon. Which means... Okay. How are all of these passages blocked off because I have to pay to do the expansion stuff? Ranch expansion, the overgrowth. The ranch's very own wild side. Eh. So it's either a cavern or a overgrowth. I like the overgrowth, but don't you dare try and fly out of this place, please. Uh, what are you? Range exchange of lion. Okay, that's a shame. Uh, that only leaves this place for This is also going to be blocked off. Do I have to pay for this one as well? No, I don't. Hello. Oh, that's a lot of pink slime. Uh, dry reef. A coral crusted ocean floor that now basks under a golden sun. Hello. Uh, no? Worlds. That's one I need. Okay, apparently we also got information on our own ranch. A distant home for distant hearts. 
The Beatrix begins her life on a humble ranch in the middle of an area of the far, far range known as the Dry Reef. Once the property of the legendary slime rancher and notorious old codger Hobson Twilkers, the ranch has seen bitter days as Hobson let it come into a state of disrepair shortly before disappearing completely. Hobson's whereabouts are currently unknown. Isn't that of great importance? Like, this man who owned this ranch, who probably worked for the Seven Sea Corporation, all of a sudden disappears before letting things run into disrepair and whatnot. And we don't know where he is, and you're just gonna give me the ranch? What happened to this place? Where is this Hobson Twilgus? And what do we know about the Dry Reef? The environment surrounding the ranch is known as the Dry Reef, and it's an arid, windswept land covered in dusty cracks and rocky cliff shapes by the wind over the millennia. The Dry Reef is primarily home to pink, tabby and rock slimes, though fossil slimes will also come out of hiding when the sun sets. The Dry Reef's climate doesn't make for an abundance of any particular resource, but plenty of carrots, pogo fruit and hen hens are everywhere, as well as some less common resources, if you know where to look. Alright, so... Uh, first things first... Uh, before you go flying all over the place... Let me grab you. Hello. What are you? Pogo fruit. Thank you very much. Uh, I'll grab all these slimes for as much as I can. Instantly figure out what my limit is in regards to how much my a backpack can carry. And it seems to be that 15 is the limit. Ooh, and there's carrots. Thank you. Oh, and there's more pogo fruit up there. Can I grab you as well? There we go. Thank you. God, oh, there's so many of you. Is there a limit to the amount... Of slimes I can have. I think, okay, in my fat pack, the limit is most certainly 20. So you come along with me, you come along with me, and same goes for the chicken do. There we go. Awesome. And, okay, I can't grab the ports because I'm completely full. Uh, I'll grab these carrots and then I'll be off. Don't worry, I'll certainly come back later. Oh, and you just keep on appearing. All right. Um, you. What are you? Hello, Beatrix. The name's Hobson Twilgus. Rancher, explorer, and the former owner of this here ranch you now call your own. Please make your acquaintance. Uh, where did you disappear off to? And do other people know that you left this message? Uh, I was a rancher for more years than I can remember and felt there was one last adventure left in me. So I've set off to find just that. But before I go, I'm taking one last tour around this here land I love. So keep your peepers peeled for notes like these if you want to hear what an old good has to say every now and again. Be talking to ya, Hobson. Alright. Well then. Um, anyway, I was told to not really explore stuff during night time or whatnot. So I'll grab these carrots. And then I guess I'm gonna be off to my own place. Do I have to be afraid of nighttime? They said I had to be careful during nighttime, so yeah. Anyway, uh, first things first, pink slimes. Is there a limit to how many I can keep inside of a corral? I'm not too sure, but we're going to find out soon enough. There we go. And uh, I have enough carrots for you for the time being, so I need some food, or I need some pink ports. And I'm sure all of you are hungry as well, so uh, you please return. Thank you. There we go. Look at all them ports. Okay, so this is going to be a little bit problematic because every single time I try to collect stuff, I'm going to find that I'm going to instead grab all the slimes from my corral. There we go. I definitely want to have a port collector and an auto feeder and whatnot. Anyway, there you go. I've got 18 pink ports. I also have pogo fruit. What do I know about pogo fruits? The most common fruit found on the range, and some say the most delicious. But it's favored by none. So if it's the most delicious, then why is it not favored by anyone? Or is it just a case of if I figure out if someone favors this food, it will be added to here. We'll find out. Anyway, pogo fruit are a common sight almost anywhere on the far, far range. Well, tasting a bit like a peach, they're most notable for having their trademark spots on and under the skin. On the ranch, deposit the pogo fruit into a garden depository and you'll grow a large pogo fruit tree of your very own. Oh, I do like the sound of that. Um, but first things first, chicken juice, you go right over there. 
I'm so very sorry. It, it just feels like abuse to the chickens. Not abuse to the slimes. They can handle it. Anyway, you. There we go. All the ports. Give me all the money. Awesome. And that actually means I have enough food or enough money to grab myself a garden. I could also go for a silo. You, you can't take it with you when you go, so put it in storage. Incinerator, don't need it. Burn it or a pond. What are you do, going to do with this? Do I need a pond in order to keep a garden going or... Hmm. Anyway, I want a garden. I think I want it over here. So, uh, shoot a fruit or veggie into the depository to begin growing more of that type. Well, let's start with some pogo fruits. There we go. Oh, now that's technology. That's fast. But it has to grow a little bit more before I can actually get it. Alright, that's fair. And then what can I do even more? Nutrient soil. A nutrient soil contains compost from the moss blanket and minerals from the indigo quarry. Makes crops always yield the maximum harvest. Or a sprinkler. A sprinkler ensures that crops are always watered, making them grow twice as fast. Do I need to water this or not? Like, Where am I going to get water from? Will this just grow normally now? No problem, nothing wrong. I guess we're going to find out. Uh, which means... Do you want some pogo fruits? I've got more than enough. And I definitely want more of your pot. So, let me quickly... Oh, uh, what if you didn't eat their food? There we go. You go there, I'll take that. And more plots. And then we just keep on shooting the slimes right back in. No, 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 you're not supposed to go all the way over there. Friend! This is your home. It's after dark. Just stay where you are. Everything will be fine. I definitely need higher walls. And I can get those for 350. Yeah, higher corral walls ensure that even the bounties of slimes will have difficulty escaping. Um, port collector. God, there's so much stuff that I want. At least I've got two basics right now, so if I find any slimes that need chickens to eat or they, they need chickens to fill their hunger and whatnot i'll have that i've got my veggies and whatnot or in this case fruits um i would need one more place for veggies so if i have money i probably want to spend that on there as well but for the time being i probably want to have a carrot thing right over here um do we have to go to sleep or does can we just wander around all day long all night long whenever i think we're gonna find out if we get a message of we're sleepy we need to sleep we'll hear uh, anyway you go right over there give me a little bit more money thank you very much how long will it take for these pogo fruits to grow how long does it take for chickens or chicken dews to grow up into normal chickens and spruce cross and I've only got hen hens right now. Well, this is fine for the time being. Uh, you are all safe here. I don't have any more food right now. I could grab a few more carrots. And I would need... How many more to actually make that garden thing? Uh, 250 more. Ooh, we could do that. All I need is a, f a little bit more plots. Like, two or three plots would be enough. I guess we're going to find out if there's anything dangerous out here. Ooh. Hello. Hello. Um. Hi, what are you? A pink phosphor. Hold on. Oh, my Largo. Largo slimes are large slime hybrids formed when a slime eats a port unlike its own. Vac to keep them on your nozzle or shoot them to send them flying. He has wings anyway. So... Hold on. Uh, can I... If I take a look at slimes, can I take a... Largo slimes, yeah. Source... Source slime diet. So you're... Uh, God, what was it called again? Uh, let's see. Dry reef. Uh, dry... Uh, no? The phosphor slimes will also come out of hiding when the sun sets. Those were phosphor slimes, which I did not mind. 
Oh, you, all of you, please join me. Thank you very much. So I can't grab these Largo slimes. They're just stuck. But I could put them in a corral. So what do I know about them? Let's see. Uh, no. First things first, Largo slime. So source of slime favorite food. So in this case, if they are combined with a pink slime, that would mean they would eat anything still. Largo slimes are a hybrid of two slimes resulting from a slime eating a plort unlike its own. In this case, a phosphor slime ate a pink plort, I'm assuming, which turned it into this big thing. Uh, they are twice as big as normal slimes and have a combined diet of their two source slimes, making them enticing for ranchers who want to maximize their profits. However, a Largo is too big to vac and can only be transported using the end of the vac nozzle. This makes them difficult to control if things get out of hand. Rancher risks. In addition to Largos becoming more difficult to manage and having the combined power of two slimes, an even greater threat to ranchers lies within these supersized slimes. If a Largo eats a plot unlike its two sore slimes, it will transform into a ravenous tar slime. That doesn't sound good. Ranchers need to be very careful when dealing with Largos or risk an outbreak of tar that can quickly overtake their entire ranch. Always carry a full tank of water just in case. Where do I get water from? Protonomics. When a Largo eats, it produces plorts of both source slime types, making them potentially very lucrative for ranchers that can deal with the added risk of keeping them. Well, I'd say a new chapter in a life is opening up right now. I'll take those, thank you very much. Um, you, my friend, you're gonna come along with me. We're going to start this grand adventure by going big. Although I'm not sure if instantly walking the Largo path is the right choice, I do like the prospect of untold riches through multiple plots from our slimes. Let's just hope that the big guy knows what he's doing, for we are still a newbie in this profession. <laughs> <laughs>